Like this? Yep. All right. Uh, welcome, guys, to uh, WA's first podcast, which I think is crazy because how are it we? It is crazy. No, 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 let me, let me, no, let me do my thing, bro. Uh, how are we the first ones to think of this, James? It, it, like you say, it's crazy. I, yeah. I can't believe it, no one's ever thought of this before. Idea. It is a great idea. Do you think that's a direct I think it result? Might take off. Yeah, okay. See, that's what I, I was thinking the same thing. Do you think it's in the, because of the direct result of that Perth hasn't really woken up yet? Hey, so someone had to be the first, right? Yeah, this that's is, right. This American cowboy had to come in and uh, show these people how to do it. You say American cowboy <laughs> as if you're not American yourself. Hey, man, I don't know what you're talking about. I've been here a while now. No? That was the worst. Australian accent. Of all time. She's an imposter. (laughs) Of all time. She's an imposter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. All right. So what are we we talking about? Exactly that. No, no, no. That's that's exactly what I wanted to start with. One, um, so Vanessa, how long have you been in Perth? Well, this time I have been here. um, Pause. What do you mean this time? (laughs) Like there was another alternate reality where you're like. I moved in here in 2011 for one year. Was that that time or this time? The first time, and then I moved back for one year. Okay. And then I moved back, and so that was 2011, and then I moved back. Vanessa in Cobbs is three gin tonics deep. <laughs> Only because you poured it probably that strong. Mm. I moved back in 2019. Yes. And it's now 2024. Yes. And then, so I can't do math right now just because I'm in a lot of pressure. 19, so how many years 20, is that? 21, 22, James, 23, 22. No, ask him. How many years... Th- are you listening? What? No, I wasn't paying attention. I lost interest. Then. I gave you a 19. <laughs> 2019. So, okay, so can you just give us an insight about what exactly you were thinking about in that moment while she was doing math? Uh, well, I was being instructed what to do off camera. So, <laughs> by, yeah, and I'm still Brit. Yeah. getting The lovely yeah. Brit, your partner. It's the ghost of James Dudfield <laughs> that's alive right now. James. Yeah. Okay, but, uh, so why are we here? <laughs> what is this? What is WA's first podcast about? Yeah. Well, to, this is not really the first episode. This is just uh, kind of an introduction-based, um, you know, just like topic starter. And uh, what I think is we need to really formulate a plan here. So I think... Uh, <laughs> on camera. No, on no, 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 this is not on camera. Oh, okay. But this is more about, like, I want to talk about uh, how Perth, it's... Uh, unfolding in the art community and like a, not unfolding like spiraling but unfolding in a way where there's like uh, a sense of actual indie production that's starting to kind of take off here within film within anything art community within like local music band which you probably don't know anything yeah. about <laughs> you no. got the it's wrong not, yeah, people no no it's not, it's not about but, <laughs> but now movies yes. yeah there you go yeah. so right. as you guys are no, as, well even that I mean, so I you two well, so that's the thing is, <laughs> you two He's are your man. the guests you guys are how do you guys uh, influence Perth uh, community as uh, as creatives I Vanessa. think we should be asking you this That's question, right, mate. Yeah. No, no. And you. you you're, you're an I'll actor. I'll be the moderator. You're an actor. You're an <laughs> yeah, actor. Yeah, but I think my um, my um, my footprint has been <laughs> fairly <laughs> fairly light. I think the wind blew. Yeah. Blew. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, no, fine. No, no, no. Fine. How heavy is your well, you footprint? To, well, basically, you try to get on as many projects as you can, right? Right. Uh, so the idea is to meet as many people and make contacts with as many people. What's your it's number what, what is network. your number one pet peeve when you're dealing with a production that's like, hey, do you want to be in this role? Pet peeve? Yeah. Uh, you show up on set, what pisses you off? Uh, you know, no catering. That's if you no, certainly if you're not getting paid, no catering. Yeah. yeah. So How often does that happen? You, you How often does that happen to you? Time. Okay, fine. Let's really? <laughs> we need names. We need no, names. Remember how they don't clap? <laughs> don't clap. We need names. This is right here. No, no, no. Okay, I think fine. No names. It's mostly more rare now as, as you are uh, establish yourself. No one would dare. <laughs> you guys are not all those high, <laughs> jobs that I'm just raking in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surely, surely they pay. I mean, um, not pay. <laughs> surely they have food, catering. Have you guys ever been services. involved in a Perth uh, a, project not the answer you wanted, where right? they didn't pay you guys and said they will pay you guys? No. Including Dalai Lama Productions. I you guys can, say. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you millions. Uh, I don't think you're going to be, gonna be a star. <laughs> uh, no, I've never had that. No. It, it, 
at least people, are, you know, up front. You, you go on a project, you know, you're not getting paid. That's fine. You, you make that decision. Yeah. You go on to that project. Yeah, so, I would say most yeah. projects I haven't been paid on, but I knew that I do it for the love when? of the art and to work with the people. Right. So as an actor, <laughs> hire me for free. As an actor who is like, okay, I will give you my time for free. Yeah. What is your demand? What is your expectation from that production? Well, you know me. I'm, I'm pretty. I'm high maintenance, but I'm really not. I'm pretty. I'm pretty chill. I don't know. I'm like, if, if the project speaks to me, I'm like, I'll show up. And as long as it's... Yeah. How irate okay. do you get when you uh, <laughs> act on a project? I don't get irate. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> how I, from one Very to ten, how, yeah, one, from one to ten, how irate do you get when you participate in a production and post-production never happens? Uh, look, it has... From happened. one to ten. Uh, okay. Hey, sometimes productions just take a little bit longer, you know, it's no, uh, fuck harder. That. But not everyone has your drive. Some people have babies and then they're the editor on it and um, it's taking a little bit longer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. From experience yeah. Yeah. Ambrosia uh, coming to you uh, eventually. Uh, 2027. <laughs> that, is a, that is annoying. I think I rate is a bit too strong a word. It does happen, but look, you know, if that project doesn't, eventually go to completion generally those projects are uh, maybe not ones that were it matters meant so to. much anyway they weren't I mean? meant like, to yeah. yeah they weren't really meant to you want to wear the headphones it's really what? fun wearing the headphones and doing this not really. you want to try it <laughs> honestly try it yeah, it's, it's going to add a new element to it watch ready okay. so the other day can you say something so she, she understands uh, Vanessa, can you hear me? How, is that, how's he's radio? got a good voice. He's got a good voice. Is that, that radio saying? voice? Or something? <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, well gee whiz, that takes me back. Uh, let's head on to some hits from the eighties and nineties. I think Britt's ready to, to come grab a seat. We've got a new guest joining us. Are we at ten? Are we, are we at ten minutes? How much? How many, what's what's the timer on? This is Vincent. All right. So let's wrap it up. So guys, thanks for uh, tuning in. Wait, Next wait, wait. So see. That was You're it. The king of Dalai Lama, king of uh, indie film and yes. press. This is not. This is Dalai Lama podcast, guys. This is per. This is WA's first podcast. This, What's this one so tip do you have for one. for somebody who wants to get into indie filmmaking in Perth? Right. What is one your number one um, tip? Suggestion. Suggestion. To stop hanging out with your friends. What if your friends are filming? Nope. Uh. <laughs> Make new ones. Are they? What? Are they, nope. <laughs> But wait, we but were friends. We start, met. Right? We no, met. No, no, we were school. colleagues from day one, and I made it clear <laughs> like okay. I've had no, my I, friends. No friends. friends. I've That's had my right. friends. I just want I'm colleagues here. now. I'm here you to know? work. Yeah. Sorry. Well, okay. Well, at least we well, know where we're standing. Yeah. Okay. Look. Well, there you have it, folks. No I, new friends. Look. In order to pick up a bottle, you got to put down a bottle. <laughs> okay. I, I think you got to try and get on as many projects as you can. Get enough ex get yes. experience yes. from different people. I think your thing point about yes, work with your friends, but work with other people as well, right? Well, right, if yes. I can just be like a hundred percent serious, yeah, it's you have to just absolutely network and only work. I guess the only work with people that don't like flake. If somebody flakes, never work with them again. That's it. That's fair cool. Never, never yeah. work. Never work with them okay, again. You know, you want to mean that, you know. Me. <laughs> oh, that that's 10 minutes. That's awesome. Yeah. We just redo that whole thing because there's one piece that pops up. <laughs> but can you be me? All right, okay, cool. Okay, when that is never seeing the light of day. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> not, I'm, I'll make a fucking 15 second preview for tonight. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I've never seen the still recording. I, I felt like a high, you know. Okay, like, I just have that on record. <laughs> I was like, I, I never want to have whew. that released to the public. Is that, yeah. is that We do not consent <laughs> to. <laughs> Did you clap, babe? <laughs> No, no, it's okay. Don't cut. Don't cut. This is good. She didn't cut. You want to, you want to say hi? Going. Come say hi. You can say hi. Come and just wave at the camera. Uh, come have a seat. Yeah. yeah there. Tell us about production designing. Wait, I thought this wasn't a podcast. No, this is, is for episode, episode, uh, this is pre-episode one. This is the thing. So for the uh, next episode, what, we, what, what, what I'm, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to get you a production designer, no, or no, no, an act production designer and a cinematographer. And, and, and then we're going to have them talking about what pisses off with them off about each other. That's idea number one. And who else buds heads? A first AD buds heads with who the most? Um, the extras. Extras. <laughs> we'll get we'll we'll get um we'll get someone that's like a spe guest. No, who, who, what kind of guest? Are we, the first guest option is we bring in a extra extraordinaire who's just like ex extraordinaire. I don't, 
You know what I mean? To like tell us about like extra level talent, or, or we bring in an extra coach, Amanda. Someone oh, that's gonna be like, Amanda. if you're an extra in Perth, here's the tips to when you get on set, on like what will make you shine, <laughs> <laughs> to so the director notices you. You know, uh, to, to yeah. up, yeah. up your. You know what I mean? Like for example, Free Metal Prison. <laughs> yeah, you know there was there was this, there was like a person I remember one of the extras that was just like. Um, in a, in a, in just literally in a, in a character the whole time. This? And the whole character. And you've never worked with me ever again. No, no, no. Honestly, they haven't reached out ever again. Wait, you were an extra t- two weekends ago. You yes. want to fill us what in on that, that experience? Turn the camera back what on. <laughs> no, the camera's just turning off. Oh, no, 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 it's wrong. Oh, okay. right, uh, what, was that? what was that for? It was for a advertisement for a tutorial video about jury duty, about what they do when you go to when you become a juror. Like, hi, welcome for being. I imagine it's going to be like, welcome to being a juror member. I've literally this, just watch been this been video. On jury duty. Yeah, yeah, so they sh- they show Were you, you the this video. Foreman? I was not. No. no. Yeah. What's a foreman? The one who reads the verdict there. And back and to the left. Yeah, so your voice no. And well, you're tall. Not, <laughs> they usually pick that? the tallest what? person. <laughs> My brother-in-law did jury duty. Right. They're like, foreman. you're the foreman. Please. No, I, Two yeah. meters tall. So he walked in. There was no. Like, that's, that's the that's foreman. foreman. Yeah. <laughs> People volunteer. I did not volunteer. So uh, how do you feel about not being the foreman? Happy. Very happy. I don't know, was the person guilty? Like pain. I know you can't talk about it. No. Well, no. You, yeah. The, the sentence was guilty, so that's not a pleasant thing to deliver. Was it a um, cut and dried? Did, did the jury? Was it a hung jury, or what did you? No, no. A unanimous decision. Yeah. It was pretty cut and dry. Well, what happened? There was a bit of the, well, we, <laughs> that's, Maybe that's a topic for a true <laughs> no, crime. No, just, well, just, <laughs> just, no, no. We're covering all the bases. <laughs> we're we're going to figure out what this podcast that's is about. Words, what happened, bro? What happened? There was a assault on a young woman. Oh. Jesus oh, Christ! Right. Dark. Yeah, that's taking a dark so, as, <laughs> so, as a person that played Detective Walter, <laughs> that was a lot I of assault on young women. Yeah, much, but no, <laughs> yeah. Not. what? No, what is not a, okay. oh, no. a truthful question? No. Like seriously, be hundred percent serious, because like seriously, like, this is like serious. Um, what did you have to like access when you were playing like Detective Walter? Oh, like, uh, what did I, no, what? actually, what did you, how did you get into uh, Detective Walter's psyche? It's, it's, wow, I, I think I said this at another time. I was just trying to remember the lines, man. Like, there wasn't much to depth to it beyond that. And be, and you just rolled over just and woke me, up Detective me Walter being me, which apparently I've got prickish kind of. What was it like characteristics working right? with uh, him on set? <laughs> so I was. Actually, very scared the first time. <laughs> had you guys known each other at that no, point? No, I had not met so him before. So you've never met James Brothers? I had not met him before. Right. And I had seen pictures of, like, the blood and... Ah, yeah. Um, the apron. Y- in the apron. I was trying to get him so to little... show his cheeks. He wouldn't show his cheeks. <laughs> oh, that would have been yeah. good. Yeah. That you would've... would do for the art. It would do. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. No, that would have been for good. The art, no. yeah. Maybe yeah. for some... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, 50 bucks? <laughs> I would have given you... If you asked, oh, that's about 50 bucks, I'll do it for 50. Yeah, right, but you would have felt like a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it for 50. Yeah, Fine. I feel dirty. Now I know. Take off. You said you'll do it. Yeah. Now I know. Yeah, right. opportunity missed. Yeah, <laughs> fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. <laughs> Honestly, would you have done it for fifty bucks? Yeah, why not? <laughs> if only, my shot. If I only known then what we know now, we'd be unstoppable. <laughs> yeah, fifty well, bucks. That would have added. That would have taken the would movie you, from here if, to if, here. If you were in my position, would you have done that for fifty bucks? I don't have a good ass, so no. Well, neither do I. But that's why it's, he's only paying me fifty bucks, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> I would have got a uh, maybe if we, it was in a uh, uh, body double. <laughs> See. I've been like, yeah, put her in. Okay, all right. Okay. Who knows? It's a, it's a hypothetical in the past. We'll never AI, know. But, but AI, AI, yeah. I, AI, 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 <laughs> Well, then they won't need us at all. You're There's right. Like Substitution. Yes. Yeah. You've got to show your ass while you can before the <laughs> robots yeah, do it robot. for you. <laughs> robots taking our jobs. <laughs> taking our ass <laughs> shots. Uh, well, yeah, but so, how did... How did you get into your role as the good detectives? It's really kind of the yin and yang in that film. Rampage Electra was talking about it. Too. Uh, mm-hmm. About the moment of realizing that Detective Walter betrayed you. How did I get into that? Well, that was so. That was an interesting night because that was my first night on set. So it's always a little bit. Was that interesting. Fiona's first night on set as well, or was it we did a day before that? I don't they, remember. I think the day before. I think that was the second. It was a two night sh- sh- shoot. I think, yeah. if I remember correctly, three day, three day, three, three day yeah. 
I don't remember now. But it was that was my first shooting, so I had to start shooting, shooting, or shooting, both. shooting, <laughs> right. both, all of it. Um, so as an actor, I had to think about what led up to that point, obviously, because we hadn't filmed that right. yet, and the relationship I would have had with James as we're Detective Walters, and um, the trust and the betrayal. And then working backwards to go shoot the scenes before that. Like, <laughs> why is he looking at you like this? Like, yeah. Bored. Yeah. <laughs> no. Next question. Yeah. No, what I, made you write Rampage uh-uh. Electra? I just want to make a fun film. Something that just people leave and go, that was fucking pretty cool. But uh, looking back now, I think... Okay, uh, punchline. So, so why did you write Rampage Electra? It, no, it, was, it was missing. <laughs> well, I was going to say before we move yeah, on. The so the butt cheeks thing, $50. We were talking about in retrospect in the past, right? There's a way we need to like discuss matters into the future, right? So 50 bucks, you do it. I hope this will fix me too. We'll pay you 50 bucks to show your cheeks. I hope this will fix me, me too. too. Yeah. Is that the, the film to do that's, it? That's her. Wouldn't twenty four eight be the film to no, no. for him to show his ass? Okay, the that, price that has too. probably gone up by that time. Yeah. By the way, okay. So how much? How much <laughs> to show well, you? Well, we, yeah, we, we can negotiate. I, yeah, on camera. I hope so we know this will we fix me too, which is like when uh, a Anise, teen, Anise goes a, to a girl themed teen movie. You yeah, want me but to show this is in the future, man. I think Halle Berry got what three million dollars to show her boobs in the movie Swordfish. Is he not going to get the same amount to show his ass? Do you think that James Broadhurst has seen Swordfish? Now, this is like the, you know, like, we got the action. Three, the actual fish or the two, one. Have I, I've seen bits of it, yeah. But you have not seen it. He's seen the d- d- I bits. I missed that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. you, wait, hold on, hold on. You've seen bits of it or you've seen tits of it? <laughs> I've not, We're I've sorry, not. Hallie. It was uh, yeah, a be- yeah. beautiful performance. Yeah, and I'm I don't think she wanted to film that, actually. She felt uncomfortable. But she got paid a lot of money for it. How much money did she get paid for it? I want to say $3 million. Hold, uh, please. Uh, I'm going to Google probably this. probably more, to be honest. Yeah. Three. Let's bump his How, What do we up. think? How much Let's she got? Okay, while we look it up, uh, how important do you think dignity is in the acting world? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how important do you think dignity is in the acting world? <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty important. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta be comfortable. Do you think right? dignity what you is what made you not show me your cheeks? I, th- I think <laughs> I had a shred of dignity. Oh, was it just? <laughs> it was just you were shy. Well, there's a bit of that to it as well, and there was a bit of the what the non fifty dollar offer. <laughs> fifty dollars. To be honest, the fifty dollars is probably the main. We'll get on all fours. <laughs> and Fundraiser, twerk. crowdfunding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If we get a thousand dollars, I'm right, gonna connect. Well, you can like connect, uh, connect like a fucking like GoFundMe or like a fundraiser link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred dollars, a thousand or a hundred, a thousand. A thousand, a thousand. All right, four hundred dollars. <laughs> for a hundred dollars, for a, for a hundred dollars. <laughs> James. Brothers will uh, show his wow. ass. Wow, I guess. That's, yeah. Are we ready <laughs> for the yeah, answer? Go, go, go. <clears throat> Swordfish received early press coverage because word leaked out that Halle Berry was doing her first topless scene, paid an extra five hundred thousand on top of her two million dollar fee. So yeah, she was getting two million for it, and they were like five hundred dollars to show your boobs. Five hundred thousand. Well, who's the extra? They paid her an extra five hundred thousand oh, dollars. They didn't pay her. They paid her in like a. Here's an extra. No, no. They paid oh, her here's an extra. An extra. They paid her two million dollars for the movie. Which, yeah. And they're like, Shh, there's a scene where she's sunbathing. She was like this, and she yeah. has her boobs, ah. and she gets paid an extra five hundred thousand dollars just for that. I gotta go yeah. back and watch this film. It brings us back. <laughs> speaking of extras, it brings us back. To so extras, yeah. yeah. How much do you think an extra should be paid to do a nude scene? A n- what? A nude scene? Yeah. Uh, a new scene. A nude scene. A nude scene. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. I've never been asked. It depends on. Wait, but I. So Juan just showed me um, For the, the movie. You can say who Juan is. Juan is a, a wonderful filmmaker and my husband. And we watched <laughs> the movie Euro Trip the other day oh, yeah, the yeah, old yeah. one have you oh, guys seen Jesus that oh Jesus Christ where they had like banging 60 down the Vatican thing yeah I hadn't yeah. seen it before yeah. Scotty doesn't know Scotty doesn't know it's great but there's a scene where they go to a nude beach and it's like 
a hundred men yeah, with God, their yes. dogs, yeah, yeah, and they're all extras, yeah, and they yeah. weren't meant to show anything at first. And I, the IMDb behind the scenes things right. said that um, that they like talked him into it, and all the guys were like, "Okay, yeah, we'll show it." But I think they're all extras. So I don't even know if they got paid. So that, to your point. These actors, these men just run around on a new beach showing their ding-dongs, and I don't Swarm even know if they got paid any money. I don't know about yeah. that. Yeah. Do you believe that you have to <laughs> see at least 100 guys naked to know if you're gay or not? You tell me. I think yes. 100% yes. I think you really need to In be... person or on screen? In person. Not, and on screen is bullshit. There's no, like, in-person, like, actual chemistry that you feel, you know? Mm. 100, I, 100 guys naked. At least. But... At least. Do most locker rooms? Guy, locker oh, locker rooms. Locker rooms. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So See, that would be a good. He's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Locker rooms is fucking anything. Anything goes, yeah, man. That's, okay. uh, anything goes in the yeah. guy's locker room. It's crazy. Well, that's. Maybe the ones you've been in. Yeah, dude. We maybe so, like sports. We in soaked high each school. other up. We, in high we soaked each other up and slid <laughs> naked on the shower floors. That's good. Hands. You guys were also comfortable. We were very comfortable. Yeah, but yeah. this is a sports team. This isn't just yeah. your average Freshman locker room you're walking in. Right? No, this is the average yeah, locker yeah, room yeah. you're walking in. No, Freshman you used to go to the gym sport, now. Sport, yeah, no, nah, over sports. here they're a bit more like, oh, that's gay. But it's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Slide naked, hold hands. That's, let's see. Maybe it is. That's the future. Mm. Let's let's spin in it, baby. Yeah. That's, that's good. That's good. What's it, have you ever kissed a guy, James? I no no I haven't. I've kissed a guy. Okay. With like little uh, little like like you know yeah, just to, just pet. to do it. We're, yeah. we're covering no everything no, in no. this. <laughs> this honestly <laughs> like this is first first podcast yeah. to cover every topic yeah, yeah, yeah. under the no. sun. Britt, I feel like you need <laughs> to hop in here. So have you kissed a guy with no tongue? Because no. for you to say no tongue, it's like you know where you're. Boundary. <laughs> what were the circumstances? <laughs> why? You know, he's why no tongue? Like, you know, I'll do it, but you will not. No, I agree. Why no tongue? What was it? Intimate? Well, it's, it's just, it's just too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. It's when it gets heavy. You know. Okay. Like, yeah. Well then, how do you know you're not gay if you don't kiss a guy? It's, it's, um, it's different. I guess yeah, you know by at least seeing a hundred guys naked. Okay. That's how you know you're gay. Because if you're just like, I'm, I'm fe- there's no. Part of this. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I still didn't yeah. sign a waiver, so yeah, you yeah, can't right. show this That's anywhere. Right. Yeah, so. lawyers, yeah, you can sue me. Yeah, my lawyer. You can sue me. You can try your hardest. You'll never <laughs> get me to take this down. Ever, <laughs> oh, dude. boy. Live stream, fucking. Yeah, yeah. man. So, but how was the. How did this job, was your job as an extra, come up? That's what I want to know. I got asked uh, to be this extra. And uh, and I went there and. But you knew this person prior, right? Who's this person? The person making the video. Yeah, no, they're like this, like advertising kind of. I think they call like uh, sometime production. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I know of them. Yeah. What are they called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someday, Stephanie, someday. Yeah, yeah Stephanie, that's right. Stephanie. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. So it was just like Steph was just needed a couple of extra hands, you know. I was like, sure, I'll do it. But I went over there. I was like, oof, man, being like a pool of extras is, is pretty, it's pretty, you know. It's, it's was it hard on your ego? Was it a little bit of a... <laughs> yeah. You're like, like, you're like, I'm... I actually... I make... No, no, no. I'm the Dalai Lama production. I'm the extra star, you know, like... Uh, no, of every course. Every time there's a, there's yeah, a group of... It happened naturally. Top. I wasn't even trying to push for it. Yeah. Like, yeah. There, there was this, a... Like a jury foreman. They just <laughs> chose their leader. That's what I'm saying. It was like... So, like, I ended up being like the... the, the when all the jury people leave and they leave out the door, mm-hmm. right? Um, well, first there was like the selected jury members, right? And then there's one that they reject. And then one person on the jury chair was supposed to be like, now they, you get up and then they walk out, right? And they're kind of like, oh, I don't get picked. And the girl that was sitting there had like nose piercings and she looked too like, not like confronting to society modern days, you know? So I was like, no, let's get her out of there, you know? And then they were like, oh, Hussein, do you want to be that person? And it was like, oh, he, and another person I remember actually was like, oh, I'm also a non jury member. Like they qualified, they were like, puck it up, you know? Like, and I was just sitting there, I was just like, whatever, you just gotta be cool about this, you know what I mean? You gotta, you know, I sat there, I was like, Hussein, I was like, oh, me? Like, me? Oh, sure, I'll do it. He goes, so when you get up, just kind of like, and leave. And I was just like, I'm gonna kill it, you know? I got up and I was like, <laughs> And I left. They were like, and they're like, that's great. And then when the whole jury people were leaving, right, we all got in the line. They go, we'll do one more take. We all left the courtroom. We'll do one more take. And the, the director came up to me and was like, this time, I see, I want you to be the last person to leave, let people walk in front of you. Mm-hmm. And I turned around and give a little nod and, and, and then leave and walk out. And I did it. 
And I was like, I was like, perfect. I was like, darn, I know exactly how I was going to give him this, the money shot, you know? So I walked, and I let people walk in front of me. I turned around, and I was like, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like a very much like, okay. In my head, I was like, okay. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Oh my God. And I walked out, and they're like, that was perfect. I was like, and then what? everybody knew, you know? Like, yeah, 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 I had the juice, yeah. Where can we see this? Wait, so. for the best actor, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no. And, and, and I told them. Well, when I acted with you uh, on set, uh, on Cooper's set, yes. I was like, we all know who the best actor was today. And he laughed, and then he got like, he lowered his eye gaze. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how I Yeah, you know, I people, know. when they have traumatic it's incidents, probably like an eye they roll. Block, <laughs> <laughs> people block I mean, out memories oh, right it's away. Too, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Well, hey, well, one great. elf has got to rise <laughs> to the, the top See, every that's not set. what I was trying to take it to. See, well, now you're hey, going to look well, at your clock. You can't help it. You can't help yeah. it. Yeah. You know? We'll just see when that video comes out. Yeah. I guess. He's edited out of it Cooper sent me a first draft. He told me not to show anybody so Cooper I respect your artistic integrity I will not show anybody God, we'll I'm watch, happy to cut. concede that the one that that has her and I are in it is, is that the one that's showing is that the one that's showing no, please don't interrupt him let him have it <laughs> clear, <laughs> clear audio he say it again for himself sorry you can start over for the yes. particular okay video. sorry start over now no, <laughs> I'm happy to concede oh yeah <laughs> shut the <laughs> fuck up whatever so I was uh, the, the best, best on yeah, this in that particular skit that we did with Cooper Clark. Yeah. Fat Crackers. Fat Crackers. I was and the best. And this is the one with you guys did in the office about... Yeah. 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 The... the, the, the uh, what is it? The... Wontons. Are you guys going to the screening? Wontons. I... Wontons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vegetarian wontons. Uh, no. no not... Are you guys... Uh, I work. Yeah. Are you not allowed to go? <laughs> no, I can go. I just, yeah. I'll, I'll wait for it to be done on YouTube. Let's, yeah. yeah. I want to see... Are how you going? The, how the Joe public sees it. YouTube. All right, guys. <clears throat> we need to watch Life in Leaderville. Episode 3 is coming out. Okay? <laughs> this is cross-promotion. <laughs> and without, like, proper emotion, there's not much motion that we can, you know, um, uh, promotion. Yeah, 100%. In the ocean. <laughs> Damn it. Ocean. ocean. With our devotion <laughs> yeah. to the industry. All right. I think that probably is about, like, a 27 minutes. That's 17 minutes more than I thought. Um... Hey, doing. what is it? <laughs> how's, my, how's my perception of time? <laughs> <All right. laughs> well, how long did it go? How long? Did it die? <laughs> how long ago did it die?